Coral reefs are a structure made of a bunch of animals that live together. And um, we refer to coral reefs as a coral because they're single animals that are polyps and they have algae that actually live within them. And the animal itself will actually produce calcium carbonate, which makes the reef structures that you see, so the coral reef. They're important for the ocean, for, for production of, of larvae, for animal diversity. They're important areas for food, for reproduction, for places that animals can go and live. But then they're also really important for people. So um, they're important for food for people. So a lot of fish actually um, um, reproduce in those areas and those are fish that we actually eat. But they're also um, important areas that can actually guard against storm damage. Coral reefs are one of the, um, they're a foundational species, right, that is really a sentinel for what is happening with climate change. Because when the waters warm or change at all, so, you know, acidification, pollution, whatever, coral reefs tend to bleach. Bleaching is when they release, they have algae that live within their, their tissue, and they'll release it when something stressful happens. And so in climate change, where we have all of this heat stress and different things happening, um, corals will, will release their algae, and so you can actually see it. I mean, you can see it from space you know, these, these areas of just white corals. And they're still alive, but they're very sick. And so the problem with, with climate change is that with increased temperature, more bleaching will occur. That leads to sicker corals that can't recover from any other stressor. There's some figures that, have, that are out that, that say that approximately 75% of the world's corals are under threat to, due to climate change, as well as, as human, other human local regional threats. 